to you guys, my name is Hunnamane and today I'm bringing you a little PM9 Moab gameplay on the map Arkadin. I do pick up the uh, M4A1, I use that for a little bit as well, so don't hate. Um, but uh, yes, this is my Q&A commentary that I promised I would do for you guys. Uh, basically what I did was ask uh, people, my followers on Twitter, Tumblr and uh, YouTube to ask me any questions they like and I'll pick the best three to five. In this case I picked three, um, so uh, let's get it started. Alright, so, the first question comes in from someone who chose to remain anonymous on Tumblr, and this person asks, How do you have time for a girlfriend if you play Modern Warfare 3 all the time and you have gotten to 10th prestige? Well, if you go to my Tumblr, my little blog, there's an About Me section. If you click on there, uh, you'll find all these frequency, frequently asked questions and stuff like that, and all this information about me. And then there, under there it says, one of the frequently asked questions is, are you taken or are you single? I'm like, yes, I, I am single. I do not have a girlfriend. Okay, that is why I am 10th prestige. Actually, technically, well, I'm actually 11th prestige right now. Um, and that is why I have all the time in the world to play Modern Warfare 3. In fact, I'm enjoying this. I when I, when I was in a relationship before, I hardly had time to play Call of Duty um, or anything to, for that matter. So right now I'm not looking because I want to enjoy. I want to lose myself in the video games that I used to do when I was younger. And that I, I never got a chance to do while I was in a relationship. So, actually, my, my previous girlfriend used to play Black Ops with me. Not not too much, but I mean, that's why I am, uh, was it 15th prestige, level 50? So, anyways, uh, yeah, next question. Uh, Cynical Faction uh, member, Mrs. May, she asks, do you have any pointers for newbies like me? Well, first of all, Mrs. May, you are not a newbie. I've seen your KD. <laughs> um, number two, um, in general for newbies, um, there's a couple tricks and tips I guess I could let you guys in on. Uh, number one, um, let's see. Bouncing Bettys. Bouncing Bettys, they're actually quite easy to avoid. Um, a lot of people don't know this. I don't know why, but like this, the second you hear that, you know, crunching noise of it coming out of the up to the ground, if you crouch, right, it'll it won't kill you. It'll only take you into the the red screen jelly stuff, right? Unless you're already damaged, and it'll kill you. Um, but uh, once it do it does that, it'll uh, one shot and you're dead, right? But if you prone, right. You will not get hit from and take any damage from that bouncing petty whatsoever. That is an amazing tip for you guys. Um, here's another tip. Um, it's, a, it's a little trick that I picked up uh, back in the other Call of Duties. Um, let's say you get flashed or stunned, uh, but the guy doesn't know you're there, so it's like kind of like a random flash or random stun. He throws it over the wall or something. If you lay prone and you just keep tap, tapping triangle or Y on the Xbox, I believe. Um, it'll be a weapon switch button. You just keep tapping really fast, right? It'll make your character look like he's dead. I mean, of course, if he hovers over you with his crosshair, then he'll see your name pop up or whatever. Or if you have assassin, it won't show, right? Um, so he may ignore you or miss you. So that's a little advice for you guys. If you get flashed, you can avoid it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, don't camp. Camping... Uh, it will never improve your skill. Uh, it, you won't. You just won't get better. That's my personal opinion. Uh, always check your corners. Always check your corners. And um, I don't know. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, let's move on to the next question. All right. So our last question comes in from a Kimbo Slice, who is a fellow YouTuber. I'll put his link, in, uh, a link to his channel in the description and annotation on the screen. But he asks. On Twitter, why do people use a noob tube? Well, let's see. The noob tube was first introduced as a way to get rid of, to easily kill those campers who are hiding in the small buildings, the tight corners, or whatever, you know. Um, but of course, when you have something that can clear a room, no problem. There's nothing really stopping them from using the streets. So people realized how overpowered they were, and it became pretty much a primary weapon for those people who can't win gunfights, who aren't really good at this game. You know, the noobs. Hence the name, the noob tube. Only the noobs would use them because they can't win gunfights. Um, but now, now let's say now you go back and play Modern Warfare 2. Why do people use them now? Um, probably because they're 
I, I, even I'm guilty of this. Uh, they go there to have fun, and you know, blowing people up with noob tubes and pissing people off can sometimes be fun for some people. Which I know is retarded. Like I'll, I'll go back to, and play Modern Warfare 2 because I don't care about my KD. I'll go and snipe. That's all I'll do is snipe. You know, and a lot of people have a lot of fun doing that. I mean, like in Black Ops, I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, Modern Warfare 3, no, I don't think anyone has a problem. I never heard anyone say, "Oh, stupid noob tube." If uh, someone kills me with a noob tube in Modern Warfare 3, chances are they probably could have shot me with it too, or like shot me with bullets, right? Um, but yeah, and people use noob. And honestly, the only reason why I can see someone using a noob tube in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 is to rank up their gun faster. And uh, I don't know. To me, that's a viable reason to use it. But anyway, the uh, gameplay is running down, guys. Um, if you want me to, if you guys have any more questions about this uh, Q and A to keep going, uh, keep asking me questions on Twitter, Tumblr, and uh, of course in the comments below. Send me a message or whatever. All the links to my stuff are in the description below. Um, and I have some more stuff coming up for you guys after the weekend. And as always, stay dirty.